Hey, did you know that the Maypole is not in the EXDA rulebook, but it's been at local shows and even at the World Finals? Here's a video to help you with your Maypole. Hello, my name is Roberto and I'm an EXCA judge and I just wanted to make these videos on to improve your scores in the EXCA and you know many of us will uh, get our scores and wonder why um, our score might be a 6.5 but if you look back at the video you could easily see that oh it's because maybe I shied away or maybe it's because the horse made, uh, um, opened up its mouth and then there you go you got a uh, docked the point. I'm a little conservative on the scoring side so I'll um, ding people for you know mouth gaping and shying away and head tossing and um, if, if uh, you lose cadence um, and I just want to do that just so we can improve the sport and uh, so here are some videos to help you improve your scoring. I do think if you guys can look at the rule book on number nine, it really talks about penalties and awards that could really help you out because, um, you know, going from a six to a seven or to an eight, they're big differences and you just want to know what to do to improve your scores. All right, so here's the EXCA scoring and judging system. I encourage you to pause the video and see how there's three components per obstacle. There's the approach, the execution of the obstacle, and the departure. Okay, for the maypole, I gave Johnny a total of 6.5 because it was straight and it wasn't a rushing approach. Uh, same thing with the departure, it was nice. The obstacle, the horse is looking where he's going. There's no gaping of the mouth or head tossing and the horse is rounded in the head and in the body. And the uh, departure that he's about to come up to was, was nice as well. And he has a loose ring. Here are a few common problems uh, and point deductions for uh, the maypole. A common one is leaning. It could, uh, it's incorrect and it can cause a lot of drifting or your horse to be unbalanced or for you to fall or for you to just not start the obstacle and miss it entirely. So you just wanna make sure you don't do that. Some other common problems are drifting or like we said, leaning. Um, your horse is not neck reining so you can't get as close as possible. You go too fast so you're out of control. So the correct way to be to be really close to where you still have to reach for the maypole, but you don't have to lean to reach for it like Johnny here. Another common problem is that the horse won't follow its nose. So I like to see this when I'm judging where the horse will follow the nose on a loose rein around that maypole like Johnny's doing here with Caliber. An incorrect, an incorrect way of going around the maypole is if you have tight reins and the horse is shying away from the bridle like uh, Calibro was doing there. So what that means is when the horse is looking in the opposite direction that you're wanting to go or the head's tossing and not wrapping around that pole and following his nose. Here's a good exercise to help you guys have the speed you want with the controller that you'll need on the maypole. Johnny's going to lope to the obstacle and ask for rating. If the horse doesn't slow down, then he'll stop the horse, back him up, he'll trot out, and he'll repeat. So this is the second time Johnny's going to do it, and you want to keep doing it until you feel like your horse will really listen to you and slowing down. So once you feel like you have that, then you'll be more successful in approaching the maypole again. You won't have to lean or worry about speed, and then you'll be more successful. But keep in mind everything else and the exercise. Now I just want to make sure that you guys know to work your reins within your box. So this box that Johnny's demonstrating you right now, I want you to keep your hands in there. And if you feel like your neck rein is starting to go beyond that box, then start to use more leg because you don't want to uh, stop guiding your horse and then start pulling. You want to continue staying soft. So Johnny's going to stay in that box and he's going to go to the left or right. And when he feels like he can't continue that neck rein and he's going to start pulling, he'll use more leg. So don't forget that there's a lot of speed and control involved with every obstacle, in this case with the maypole. Really don't want to have a lot of uh, head tossing or mouth gaping because you're going to get penalized heavily, at least by me with that. You really want to make sure that you get down small circles, that you get the horse following its nose, that you get a lot of leg on, and that you have just nice uh, rating and control. So again, speed with control is really going to help you out with this maypole and a lot of other obstacles.
So please comment down below and subscribe. It really helps us out to figure out what you guys want and what we kind of uh, want to show you more of. And uh, comment down below so we know what you uh, guys want for the next video. All right, have a good one. Bye. Hi everyone, a few things that can help you on your maypole or working on big and small circles, really trying to get your horse to extend and also rate right back down really soft and then also trying to get your horse off of your leg so you can do some side passes or half passes, trying to get them off without using a lot of spur and just a lot of calf or not a lot of calf and then also trying to work on counter bend circles. These are all kind of like your prereqs to getting your maypole to be more successful.